Okay, the first tool I want to talk about is the join tool. The join tool is what we will be using to build part of our rig, which is the skeleton. I've opened up Maya, and um, I'm in the default Maya scene, which is empty. Uh, while I'm in the viewport, uh, I'll press spacebar to go into my for view, go into the side viewport, press spacebar again, drag it up a little bit, uh, go into animation, uh, and click on, on my join tool. Uh, normally I would have a model um, already uh, built here, uh, and I'm going to use the model as a guideline for how I want to build my skeleton. For now, just imagine that there is a creature here with a leg um, which goes down onto the ground plane uh, with a foot and, a to and some toes. So I'm just going to uh, click once to start the uh, bone chain from the root here. Go down to my next uh, point of interest, which may be the knee. Uh, go down to the next interest point, which may be the heel and finish off the foot. Afterwards, when I'm done with the chain, I press enter, press spacebar to go back into my full view, and go into my perspective view. Now you see my skeleton, which is all nicely built, and you can rotate it, and translate it, and scale it. Very nice. Uh, to give you a more practical sense of how to use the join tool, uh, I'm going to open up a scene which I've prepared with the model uh, which I built, Dippy. Dippy here is a simple uh, one-legged creature which uh, shall hopefully be easier um, to explain how to use the join tool. So I'm going to press spacebar to go into the fourth view and go into my um, side view. I'm just going to start uh, building the skeleton from the hip, clicking once, clicking again at the knee, clicking once more at the heel, and a few more times for the toes. And press enter. Now, as you can see, uh, I have a very nice skeleton, but I noticed the Dippy has two toes. I want uh, to be able to control both toes independently with uh, each um, uh, toe with a uh, joint chain. So first I'm going to um, start moving my bones a little bit. to match the toes. And OK, so I have one part of uh, the model uh, with a skeleton built. And I want to build the other part of um, the skeleton for the other toe. But I don't want to just go willy-nilly and uh, use my joint tool again. I want to have some precision. So what I would like to conceptually do is mirror the uh, right part with to the left part, which uh, can be done very easily. I'm actually going to go into my skeleton drop-down menu, go down to mirror joint, and uh, mouse over onto the little square um, on the right side. And now uh, I can mirror across a certain uh, plane. I want to mirror over the uh, the y z plane if I'm looking at my uh, coordinates correctly and just mirror and there we go we now have a perfect mirror uh, over the y z plane that's good so now we can move uh, each toe bone uh, individually and everything's nice. Now I want to build the uh, top of um, Dippy. And so to keep building the skeleton, 
I go uh, to my join tool. Uh, I would like to go back into my side view actually. Press the um, starting point, the root uh, bone, and click once. Uh, drag up into the head to start building out um, the top part. And let's say I also want to uh, move the flap. So I'll go up here, click, 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 click. Okay, and going back to my perspective, my skeleton looks nice. Alright. So now, now that we have our skeleton, uh, this will act as the base of anything that we want to do in our uh, mesh.